Shaggy Ship, one of the most popular pairs of the has -been Hotel show. We got the bubbly princess, who loves to sing and dance and have fun. And we got the serious moth, who takes things seriously. On paper, this is a good ship. However, with what we have so far with the pilot and the Angel Dust comic, we haven't necessarily seen the Chaggy ship in its full potential. Today, I would like to talk about the Chaggy ship and its potential of becoming a good pairing. Now, before we start, I would like to note that these are all based on my opinions and what I have observed. If you don't agree with it, you don't have to. This is all just a discussion from one fan to another. Now, let's get to it. Let's first start with what's been lagging with the ship. In the pilot, we get to see a tidbit of the relationship dynamic between Charlie and Vaggy. Charlie seems to be the hopeful one who wants to share her dreams of saving her people through the hotel that provides this redemption course. And there's Vaggy, who agrees with Charlie's dreams and is willing to help her in her own way. Though I have to be honest with you guys, after watching the pilot the first time, I thought they were just friends. I just didn't get the vibe that they were a couple. I thought they were these two friends who wanted to open this hotel together that provides rehabilitation for their guests. There was just something lacking. They weren't holding hands. I didn't see a peck or a kiss on a cheek. I didn't hear any, that's why I love you or I love you but blah blah blah. Yeah, there were some nose boobs. They're comforted by each other. Vaggy being protective, Charlie. But friends do that too. And yeah, I know. Couples don't have to be affectionate all the time. But this is the pilot. They should at least give me a hint that these two characters who I'm still getting to know are actually a thing. The only reason why I found out they were a thing was because of Viv saying so. If the creator themselves has to announce to their audience that hey, these two are together, then it would take away my interest for said couple. As a viewer, I would like to find out for myself what kind of relationship these two characters are in. Allowing the viewers to think about how these two characters fairly well together is what helps keep them interested in the story instead of giving them the answers straight away. So now I would like to move on to the possible things that can be brought out in a series once it comes out. First would be the breaking point. Every couple has experienced the highest of highs and the lowest of lows. It's natural. There is no such thing as a perfect couple. From what we have seen so far, Vaggy has been shutting down or simply not agreeing with Charlie's approach to things. Charlie is very expressive and loves to give a show for the demons, but Vaggy prefers to approach things the more professional way, which is understandable since demons aren't all sparkles and rainbows. However, there could be a point in time where Charlie would have enough of Vaggy always telling her to do things how Vaggy wants it to be. For Charlie, it feels like Vaggy doesn't trust her at all, that her ideas are kind of pointless or unnecessary. It could be that reminds her of how her parents, who are probably just her father, feels about her idea of opening the hotel. It could probably remind her of her ex as well. Maybe he too didn't like her ideas. Now Vaggy isn't obviously doing this because she hates Charlie's ideas. It's just that she wants to protect Charlie, probably from embarrassing herself. If they truly love each other, then surely this whole drama will be resolved. This could be a teaching moment for them that maybe, instead of trying out each other's ideas one by one, they could make a compromise and work together in making this one idea. Maybe they could host an event where Charlie gets to perform well, Vaggy would plan the whole thing out and still make it look professional while trying to get Charlie to refrain from going too crazy, even though we all know that Charlie's gonna go all out. Second would be their origin story, or how these two ended up together. Since the people behind the show are already establishing that Charlie and Vaggy are a seasoned couple, if that's even a thing, they could at least give us the story behind these two becoming an item. Everyone loves a little origin story. They could give it as a comic or an episode. Either one is fine. I've seen some theories and drawings of Vaggy being a former fallen angel, which would be cool, by the way, and would make her character more unique than being just his protective girlfriend. So we could possibly see Vaggy falling down from the heaven for some possible reason, then Charlie would find her 
and would take care of her. Being a fallen angel and all, Vaggie would be skeptical or would even attempt to kill Charlie. But seeing how Charlie chose to care for her, instead of killing her when she's badly hurt, could open her eyes and realize that not all demons are as bad as she thought they are. During Vaggie's healing process, Charlie could tell Vaggie about her dream of opening this hotel that could help these demons. I could imagine that Vaggie might have lost most of her abilities as a fallen angel, or maybe her wings, so she can still serve her role as a fallen angel. But instead of killing demons, she would instead help them become good, along with Charlie. Possibly during her stay, Vaggie would develop these feelings for Charlie, as she has grown to becoming more protective for the princess cause she doesn't want anyone to harm or ruin that smile. Meanwhile, Charlie would also develop these feelings as well since she's been the happiest that she has ever been when spending time with Vaggie and also the fact that someone finally agreed with her plans instead of calling her crazy. Third is really simple, just let these two show some affection to one another. They don't have to be affectionate all the time but I want to see some hugs and kisses from time to time. Maybe some flirting or some lines that go, Hey, I'm dating that person. Or, Hey, that's my girlfriend. Just the simple stuff like that would be nice to see. The Chaggy Ship has so much potential. And I can't wait to see the relationship bloom before us when the series finally airs. What makes you like the Chaggy Ship? Let me know in the comments down below. If you reached this far in the video, then thank you so much for giving me a chance to share my thoughts. Make sure to click the subscribe button for more videos like this, cause I want to do more of this kind of commentary. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.